guys, and welcome to another episode of On the Couch with Fouch. Once again, we're coming to you from the National Quartet Convention in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, at the LeConte Center. And I have with me, well, I'm going to give you guys just a second to see if you can guess who this is. It is Paul Lancaster. He is the new, did I say it right? Yeah, you did. Or, yeah, there's no wrong way to say it. Some some people, you know, they're like Tim, okay, for instance, Tim Lovelace. Yeah. I said Tim Loveless one time. Right. And he stopped me and said it's Tim Lovelace. <laughs> now, so. Mine's a regional thing. If you're from the south, you draw it out. Lancaster. North, right. it's Lancaster. So, Lancaster. Lanc yeah. Well, Paul has agreed to join me here. He actually, it was tonight, the first night that you sang with the Booth Brothers? Thanks. I mean... Next is the second. Uh, second okay. I, I caught the bus with him this past weekend, and uh, we uh, went in Worcester, Ohio, to come through, and we did it there that night. Okay. But, yeah, but, so, but tonight was the second time we've ever done it on stage. Yeah, so I'm but your official start date is? With you guys on December 31st okay. in, in, in Nashville. So if you want to be a part of his official first 100% member of the Booth Brothers, um, you have to come to New Year's Eve celebration at the Opryland Hotel and join Legacy 5 and the Booth Brothers and Greater Vision for our Jubilee Night. And Paul will be there as official member of the Booth Brothers. And uh, well, I guess it's technically official. It's, it's so hard to I know, know exactly what to say. I still, well, they, they've already welcomed me in like I'm already here. But, you know, yeah. um, Jim, actually, the reason why we wait December 31st, uh, is because of Jim's integrity. Uh, Jim didn't go and make any plans and then say, okay, you got my ducks in a row and I'm leaving. He's told right. me first. And it's been such a wonderful transition. And so he needs time to get his ducks in a row. I need time to learn the extensive repertoire. Well, <laughs> yeah. I have. Well, it's not like me. I had a week and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to have two months, yeah, two you, and a half months. You had a, well, let's see. So Jim turned in what that would have been like a three week notice. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been. <laughs> Who does a three-week notice or a three-month notice? Right. Three-month notice. Three-month notice, yeah. So. Jeez, my goodness. But so, anyway, so it's worked out. It's worked yeah. out good. I just get to casually stroll in, you know. Right. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> um, and, of course, everyone's going to miss Jim, but I know you guys are super excited about what it's going to sound like with Paul. So, Paul, tell everybody about, you know, kind of your journey in gospel music. I don't. Most of you all might know. I'm, I'm assuming several of these people don't know. Uh, about about your journey and kind of some of the groups you've sang with. Yeah, like that. yeah. Well, first started out. Um, I'm joined this evangelist family that actually became a family group that was uh, that uh, came into Southern Gospel back in the '90s. It was uh, the Mullins. Uh, they're on. If a lot of you people you would know if you look at some of those early Gaither videos, like the third and fourth one. Uh, we're on there doing some a cappella, and Buddy Mullins actually used to sing with the vocal band uh, okay. during the time yeah. we were all together. So he was singing with us and then singing with the vocal band as well. Uh, and then after I was with him 12 years, and in 1999 to like 2001, I uh, did a stint with the Neelands, which are still dear friends. Um, and then uh, came off the road a little bit until I did a, about a year and a half, two year stint there with the Martins in 2000, 2003 while Jonathan was out. Uh, so I've been a stunt. Uh, but Doug Anderson called me. He said, "You call me a stunt singer." That's what he labeled ah, me because I've done yeah. all this filling and stuff. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, and then who was the, who after that? I'm trying to think. Martins. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Just go uh, down the line. Yeah, I go down the line. Then after that, it was uh, back with Buddy for a little while. Uh, did a lot. Of, did a filling with the Boost before. Uh, Karen Peck and New River filled in for them for a while. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Extensive list. So people people see me in all these groups think I can't keep a job. Right. right. <laughs> That's probably the most common question you get. Can yeah. You keep a job. That's right. And they ask me, oh, you, you better stay. It's like, oh, I'm not stupid. I'm going to stay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, the, the most permanent one. I'm, I'm so many oh. since the, I mean, you said you were 12 years. Yeah. With the Mullins, right? Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's a long time for someone to stay with the group. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully this one will. Well, well, last like that one did. I'm already feeling I'm that sure same kind of kinship with these guys because I mean, yeah. the models, we were tight, man. We were a bunch of really tight, and uh, I'm already feeling that kind of kinship with here. And uh, you know, you'd be crazy once you get here to leave. So, man, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be here until. Yeah. And Jim, you're crazy. Day. Yeah, <laughs> you are. According to what he said, of yeah. course. Well, if you've got a wife that seems like Melissa, though, I know man, you want to go do that. Yeah, yeah. she's amazing. And, you know, Jim, he has joined me for an interview before. And uh, he, he did a great job on the interview, and we talked about him and his wife singing. So, yeah. you know, who, who knew that, you know, it would be 
uh, less than a year later from that interview that he would be doing it. But he has all the best of, uh, of luck and well wishes for Jim and Melissa oh, wow, yeah. and, and Tim. They hired Tim Parton, yeah. uh, who used to be with Legacy 5. So Tim is the uh, piano player, singer. Incredible he's going musician, to be with, arranger. Yeah, yeah he's, he is just a great musician, period. So uh, Tim will be with them, and you'll be with the Booth Brothers, so all will be well. Yeah. My question for you, before I get into the social media question, okay. my question for you is, what is the one thing of the Jubilee Christmas tour that you are most looking forward to? I know you're not going to be with, with us for 14. But right. when we do it in 2015, you'll be there on the tour. What is the one thing you are most looking forward to? I think hanging out with all you. I found out that we did a photo shoot to, with, with all you guys yeah. today, you know, for that, actually, for next year. Yeah. And I already found out I'm looking forward just to hanging out with all these guys because they're, they're uh, completely, they're out there where the buses don't run. They're nuts. So they, <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard it. that I have, phrase. I, I have a good time with you guys. It's going to be fun just hanging out. It is, it is a lot of fun, and I know that you guys enjoy the Jubilee Christmas program. You guys have told us how much you enjoy it, so we just keep doing it. And we're this year, uh, 14, we're coming, uh, well, 2015. Yeah. We're, I, I don't know where we'll be, maybe back to the West Coast. Uh, 14, we, we went kind of on the east side of the country, so maybe we'll be back to the West Coast. But yeah. make sure you come and check it out. It's a great program. Now to the questions you guys want to know. And by far, all of the questions for the majority were just about questions about you being with the Booth Brothers. Okay. And, and, and you know, naturally that, that's to be expected. So thank you guys for all of your questions. Awesome. Carolyn Hawkins, uh, I don't know that I've asked a question from you before, so thank you so much for submitting your question. She would like to know, how did you connect with the Booth Brothers? Well, that's real easy. Uh, it goes back, I've known Jim for 27 years. Uh, he, we were, the Mullins were an evangelist, and his family was an evangelist in the same circles, so we got to know each other back then. Well, we were, we actually, uh, believe it or not, a lot of people know this. We worked at Sam's Club together. We had known each other I did a long not know time. That. That's but cool. yeah, and then uh, that's when I he got the call to come with the booth. Same, not long after that, I got the call to fill in with the Martins for a while. But and before that, we had signed together. He and Missy and I just kind of cool. scratched CH around while we were working at Sam's, you know. And uh, so, but I drove him to his. I dropped him off to his from uh, Ohio to Nashville to his first date with the booth. Very that was nice. a Gaither date. He hadn't rehearsed. They just he listened to the CDs, dropped him off, and he climbed on stage. First date with the Gaithers, and, uh, wow. and just knocked it home. Wow! Pressure. Yeah, and I dropped him off. Oh, you know. <laughs> so there you go. About how so, many years ago was that? Oh, was that the first met Jim? Well, when he when I dropped him off. When you dropped him off. Uh, so. That had to be 2002, summer of 2002. So you connected 12 years ago, basically. Yeah, and then I filled in when Ronnie was out for a while uh, in 2006. And uh, wow. Jim was our friendship and pulled me in to fill in uh, for that time. So I was with him two months. So we've already kind of... So there's already a connection. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys already know each other, so it would be very smooth transition yeah. for everybody. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so the Booth Brothers are known for kind of their smooth sound. They have a, a distinct sound right. that people co have come to expect and that people love. So Jason Powell wants to know, is there any pressure on you to keep the Booth Brothers sound uh, that the folks have come to expect. Well, well, I wouldn't know if I'd call it pressure. I do know how important that they have built, um, you know, a, a distinguishable sound, and uh, I definitely understand that. I know that Jim has got this very broad tone. He fills a lot of space, yeah. and so I'm listening to that and hoping that I can do that because he's got a little bit bigger tone than I do. But I think for the most part, yeah, I understand. And, and, uh, and with these guys, I mean, not only am I blending with them, they're master blenders as well. Right, so right. we'll find each other in all this. And I think it's, it sounds like it's going to be well tonight was you know, in front of the convention. Yeah. Oh, must be yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Here at National Quartet Convention. <laughs> yeah. Tonight, uh, we were um, the first time with them in front of all these people, and I had a lot of people come to the table saying that it still sounded like the booze, and I was yeah. so happy with that. You yeah, know, and, and for me, um, for when I made my transition to Legacy 5, mm -hmm. You don't want to be the person you're replacing right. because you are your own person. I mean, you have your own distinct sound. Right. But you want to, in some way, like you said, you want to be able to blend with the guys you're singing with so that it's not a completely, totally yeah. different sound. You want to still have a sound that the people relate right. to and that, that you know that they like because you know they like that. So not that you have to sound like somebody else. But, yeah. So I, I felt the same thing as right. what you're saying. I didn't feel like a lot of pressure. But it was just kind of, okay, I hope that what I bring to the table vocally yeah. 
isn't distracting from what the people love and have come to expect. You, you know? know, and Michael and Ronnie and I appreciate it. Michael and Ronnie give me a lot of liberty. They, you know, they want me to be myself. But you know, they when the group sings together, yeah. you know, we'll sound like the boost. But you know, when I do my solos, of course, because I'm a different person, right? Yeah, you know, there'll be a distinctive difference probably there. But I mean, you know, yeah. But, but uh, but Jim, man, has set the bar high here, so I've got my homework cut out. For <laughs> yeah. Me, so. Well, you'll do great, I'm sure. Um, Gene Beck. Do you know Gene? Yeah, uh, that, I know that name. I know that. Where's he from? Where's she Gene, from? Gene Beck, I'm not really sure. But <laughs> Gene Beck is the first time you've submit, submitted a question, so thank you. And as she wants to know, where do you hail from and who are your family members? Okay, well, I'm originally from Alabama. A uh, town called Gadsden, and you probably heard that name because that's where Mark Trammell's trio is from, and or Quartet. Gold, Gold City. Gold City. Yeah, I've known Tim Fry since I was ten years old. And, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, I used to front those guys when they were around town. Right. I was a little ten-year-old boy, you know, and Gary would play from Gary Jones. Uh, but yeah, uh, Very so that's cool. where I'm from, and my mom and uh, my family, a lot of my family's still there. And then you're talking about that, and then are you talking about where well, Cincinnati, where I live with my current family now, or? I, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> when, when I read the question, I assumed that Gene was a family member and was just wanting a shout out. So, since, wait, maybe that's not true. Now, I know Larry Beck from around Alabama. Gene Beck, maybe. Uh, maybe. I know, yeah. I know they're going to kill me because I, I know I know the name. But, yeah. It's uh, not, not the, I, I know sometimes people get put <laughs> on the spot when we're doing these interviews. Yeah. And this is probably one of those times. Yeah. So, um,. So there you go. He's from Gadsden, Alabama area. Right. He has family there. So yeah. And now, so where do you live now? Yeah, Cincinnati with my wife and three boys. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. That's where I live. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. I, well, I live in northern Kentucky, the suburb of Cincinnati. I'm right now. Uh, in, in, until we start here, I'm helping a church out in northern Kentucky, Erlanger. Yeah. First Baptist Church, Erlanger. I'm doing inner worship right there. Uh, right now. That's yeah. like 10 miles from where I live, brother. <laughs> We've been living close to each other and didn't even I know didn't it. even know <laughs> um, So that actually leads into one of the other questions that we had from Teresa Malone. And she wants to know, are you going to move close to the Booth Brothers or will you commute? Yeah, well, for the first little while, for the first couple of years at least, uh, going to commute. We have some ducks to get in a row right now. And, you know, uh, so for the first couple of years, we're probably going to stay put. And commute because they're, they're, you know, they told me they're fine because their sound man works out here. Uh, yeah, out of Dayton. Dayton area, too, which yeah. is near me. Robert. So, uh, Robert's a great sound man. By he the way. is. He is awesome, and he's funny too. He's yeah. another one's out there with the buses. Don't. Run. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm going to be communicate uh, commuting. It's not communicating. Commuting uh, for the next couple of years, and then after that, we're going to look at heading down that way. My wife well, is yeah all about loves Nashville. Maybe we can carpool because I commute. So. Let's do that. Yeah. We go to just about the same place. Yeah. I go just south of Franklin. That's where the spring is. Down there. So There's no maybe we'll commute. We got to do that. We got to do that. Commute together. Yeah. Carpool. Um, we okay. can use the HOV lane. <laughs> yeah. That, once we get to Nashville, That's we'll right. use that. Um, Aaron Tanner wants to know, are you ready to deal with the Booth Brothers product guy? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Joseph, come on. Step in here real quick. Here, Joseph. This is Joseph Baldwin. He's the product guy for the Booth Brothers, and his sister yes. is Aaron, who submitted the question. So, are you Aaron. ready to deal with this cat here? I think the question is, he's ready to deal with me. Yeah, he's already la <laughs> he already sees my scatterbrain. You know, and he's laughing at the way he's taking the pictures out there and stuff. But this guy's been great. Everybody ought to have a Joseph on the road with him. Man. I appreciate that, man. We're looking. We're looking forward to having Paul join us on the bus. Oh, so be a lot of fun. <laughs> the official spokesman for yeah. the Booth Brothers. Though. Jim, <laughs> hurry up and get off the bus. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, man. I, love it. I wish Jim could stay, too. This is too much fun. So. Um, <laughs> so the next person that people want to know about dealing with is, how are you going to deal with Michael Booth? Wow. Uh, probably with a tranquilizer dart. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Or uh, medication. I'm not sure. We'll right? figure that Either one out. We go to. Either yeah. <laughs> so, um, and uh, Steve Dover is the next question. And he would like to know, who does your hair? Uh, you know who, what? Uh, my wife is a She cuts it better than anybody. I've paid, I've paid a lot of money for a haircut before. And nobody, she's just got an eye for symmetry. And she's mm. never been to a beta school or anything. She's just wow. so I want I get her to do it now. She's got an amazing eye for symmetry, so she does it the way I want it. So uh, and then you just fix it. Yeah, very cool. cool. But I might give her a break now. I might go slow. You know, <laughs> very good. So right you know what? There. It's time for the Fouch Zone. <laughs>
All right, Paul, you have a certain unspecified amount of time to answer the next few questions. If you do not get the answers in the amount of time, we have to go directly to the next question. Which is heavier, hot or cold water? Time. Radioactivity can be found in over 50% of what? Time. Uh, how many satellites have been destroyed by a meteor? Time. How long does it take for a sloth to digest its food? Wow, well, uh, slow, I guess. I don't know. So. Uh, it's slow. I said slow, didn't I? I said that's how much time. Didn't I? How long? How does long? It, take? it takes slow. <laughs> uh, next question. Can a rabbit sweat? Time. <laughs> wow. I love dude. it when people don't know what the foul zone is. They don't even <laughs> see it coming, man. It's just I awesome. Know it. <laughs> so, okay, here's your chance to actually answer the question. Okay. Which is heavier, hot or cold water? Wow, I would think it would be the same, I would think. Hot water is actually heavier than cold water. Really? I don't know. Radioactivity can be found in over 50% of what? Uh, mm, microwaves? <laughs> I think okay. it's 100% of microwaves, isn't it? This is a first. So, 50% um, of... This is a first. I forgot to write the answer down for the question. <laughs> so you don't even know it unless you write it down. I can't remember. Write it down. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, you I've don't never even done know that. Ah, That's horrible. Better now. I I'm feel a better. horrible host. <laughs> um, I do have the answer for this next one. How many satellites have been destroyed by a meteor? Uh, I don't know, five? One. One? Wow. Uh, the European space uh, named uh, Olympus it was destroyed okay. by a meteor. Okay. How long does it take for a sloth to digest its food? Uh, six hours. Two weeks. Two weeks. I know it was slow. I just said slow. Six and hours, two weeks. <laughs> They're both slow, apparently. So am I, apparently. So I didn't know and that. can a rabbit sweat? This, yes or no? Yes or no? Can a rabbit sweat? Uh, yeah. No. Nah. No? No. Okay, all right. No, the rabbit no. cannot sweat. <laughs> Paul, thank you when so you much. you have that many kids, I think you sweat, you know? <laughs> Well, hey, that's true. <laughs> you know? That is very true. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, man. I hope you enjoyed yourself because oh, I know I'd enjoy myself. I do, too, man. I love it. I love it. Uh, theory of music don't take I love doing the not serious stuff. You know, yeah. Sometimes. Just fun stuff. Yeah. Um, so go check out the new sound of the Booth Brothers. We know that you guys will enjoy it. Uh, you can catch them at, do you know the website? Boothbrothers.com? I think it's Boothbrothers.com, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what I Check them at theboothbrothers.com. I'm sure here on YouTube, before too long, you'll find some videos of Paul singing with them. So check that out, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. The first of every month, a brand new On the Couch with Fouch video. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later.